Leslie. You wimp! What are you doing? Sorry, sir. You hit that ground like you're looking for a worm. Now get up. Get up. You don't belong here, boy. You belong at home with your mama. Hey. Hey, knock it off. I'm trying to teach these cadets about combat. What do you know about combat? Sure hope you get a chance at it, sir. You do. We're ready for it, sir. You're ready for combat. But you pray to God that you never have to see that. Look, I'm an attorney, and, uh, fellas, we need your help. I'd like to know what happened at the battle the other day. What do you want to know, sir? I'd like to know about Jeff Satterfield. Not a bad guy. I'm his roommate. Jeff's just sort of hard to get to know. Studied a lot. Kept to himself. He liked to practice the guitar. Is he any good at the guitar? Oh, yes, sir. Just that Jeff wasn't interested in the academy. That's all. But like I said, he's not a bad guy. Come on, he's a wimp. Feels right. Satterfield didn't belong here. He had no respect for what we were trying to do. Which was what? The program. What we stand for. Duty, pride, honor, country, strength. All the things worth living for. How about Stoney Fulmer? The best. Number one. He's a natural leader. Any man here would have followed him into combat. That's That's right. Right. Except Satterfield. If you knew Stoney, you'd understand. He's a leader. All that complaining Satterfield does about hazing, Stoney's just trying to shape that wimp up. Shape him up by dragging him in the woods, tying him up, throwing him in the mud? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Who was the cadet in charge of the rifles? I was, sir. What happened to the rifles the night before the battle? The evening before the recreation, I took two trucks to the armory. I signed out the weapons, took them and delivered them to Major Montgomery. He's a faculty advisor in charge of the recreation. The operation was uneventful. No enemy contact. Ten, hut! Mr. Bondurant, get these plebes late for the next class. Yes, sir. Give me ten laps around the school. Pray it was my fault, sir. We kept them talking. We all have to live up to our own responsibility, don't we? May I ask what you men are doing here? I'm a lawyer. I'm defending Jeff Satterfield. May we have a moment? Please get the glass. Tough man, huh? Yes, sir. He had no business sneaking on this property and talking to my cadets. I'm sorry, Colonel. I was just trying to do my job. I know this is a difficult time for you, but I need your cooperation. Cooperation? You realize that my son's lying in a hospital bed and they die at any moment and you want my cooperation? That's a Satterfield boy. I should have kicked him off his property the day he got here. Why didn't you? Money. Damn it, this school and what it stands for has got to survive. In better times, boys like Jeffrey Satterfield wouldn't be admitted. Well, these aren't better times. You know that Jeffrey Satterfield was being hazed, don't you? All plebes are hazed. It's part of the system. It builds character. The kind of hazing Jeff told me about does not build character. We allow a minimum level of hazing to exist. Now, anything outside of the established guidelines is subject to disciplinary action. Now, Satterfield never reported any such incidents. Do you know that your son, Satterfield, had a fight? <laughs> 